Hello YouTube, welcome back to Learning Life and Loving Radio Scanners. I'm your host, Tommy Cunningham. In today's video, I would like to give you guys the top five things that are most tricky about living inside a rural town that has limited transportation, that has most stuff, plus plus an area that is kind of weird at first, but after the second year, it got really kind of weird because, because there's been like different radio frequency stuff, which I think is really kind of silly. Now, now the first thing that we need to talk about, and this is a thing that I, I kind of feel comfortable about talking about because a lot of people may not know about the different radio frequencies and different stuff that different people can listen to. So, so I pretty much made me a list of people that I'm going to email like before my trip. Like for instance, on here, I have media at carnival.com, which that email right there are the email for like going around at the different areas. So, so also on here, I was doing some looking up like at the Pensacola area. Well, I gotta tell you some Pensacola is looking a lot different on their radio scanner feeds. Now, now the number one thing that is looking very different for anybody that is wanting to listen to this, like like if you guys go up there to Terre Haute and you guys say, hey, I'm wanting to go up there to Terre Haute and just listen to their radio scanner feeds and see like what they sound like. Well, well turning you guys around and showing you guys this, this right here is the Terre Haute Casino Resorts radio frequencies, okay? So you guys got a little bit of trick right, right here. This is security and these are all the business radio frequencies. Now let's say for instance, we go back here and we go to Greene County but you see that Green County has some still some narrow FM ones. Like I doubted that that 154.995. See you guys see that's 53 fire, which that right there you guys can listen to like nonstop if you guys are in Bloomington, because that's the county fire dispatch. Now if we go on down to Bloomfield, we got fire ops. We got fire operations, we got police tech, which we see the police tech on here. That one is law tech and it's pretty much not encrypted. So if we go on down, we look at Linton, they got a fire dispatch that we can listen to. Now Jasonville doesn't, but they got a fire ox. Now Cedar Township, this one's an important thing to know. Their fire tech two has two NXDNs. But their fire dispatch is still good because you guys see that they have an analog fire dispatch. Now let's just say for instance, we are wanting to listen to the Green County EMS. Now we see on here that the Green County EMS has a EMS dispatch fallback, which we see the frequency right here, 151.085. Now we also got the Owensburg Fire Ops and the Warrington Volunteer Fire Department Fire Ops. Now, if we go here to Indiana and we click on Pum County, 
This county is a lot different because you guys see all these different fire dispatch and these EMS. All these, except for one, are all non-NXD and radio frequencies. Now, if we go on up here, we look at the Area 10 Agency on Aging Transportation Services, we see that they use a DMR radio system. So that means anytime you guys want to listen to this, please do by listening to that NXDN communication. Now, now let's just say, for instance, you guys are going there and you guys are wanting to listen to the airport. Now they use Indianapolis ARTC approach and departure. Those are very important to know because 121.10 is approach and 119.25 is departure. Now, if we go on here and we click on, like let's just say for instance, Orange County, and we look on here. Now this county has this one, back up fire, Fire Tonouts Countywide, which we see that we cannot listen to no more. Now we also got 154.37, and that right there, Rural District 1 Fire Ground, has both a analog and a digital. Now, the, the hospital channel, that one uses a lot different, okay? So we see that Springs Valley Fire Dispatch now. Sorry guys, I heard something. So if we look, we got the West Main Springs Fire Department. We got Public Works. We even got their old fire dispatch. Which then after that, we go on down. We got the Lenovo Fire Talk, which be dispatched and paged by the county that receives the call which right there, you guys got to listen with that radio frequency on there. Now going on down to Orleans, you guys got that exact same problem. Now, now the, a thing to adjust to that problem, it's to get the P25 radio scanner. Now, now, the, now I'm going to turn you guys back over to me. Now, now letting you guys know about the right fire dispatch is to let know about the right county. Now, luckily, my county goes by central dispatch. And sometimes we have different stuff that happens here. It's likely enough, I thought I heard the ambulance coming. Which luckily that wasn't, which is a really good thing. Now, now today, I seen my buddy AJ, which I was feeling really happy about seeing him. Surprisingly, I have not seen him for a couple of days. That guy puts a lot of work in. Now, if I turn you guys back around to my computer, and I show you guys this. We got environmental services refusal. We got public works. We got jail operations. And then after that, if we go back, we click on like the Rivers Casino. We click on Sorry, guys. We click on the Rivers Casino, and we see that they don't got anything on there. That's because they are still working on that system. So if we go here and we look, they don't got that much to do for, like, adults. So if we go here and we click on...
I know that it's on here. Just give me a minute. Right here, miscellaneous businesses. So we see that this is their community operations. Now we see that these people right here use an analog dispatch. Now if we go on down to Ramada Inn, then after that we got thousands of different dispatches. Now if we go here to Dolphin County, we got like this right here, Dolphin Dispatch Men 9. We got Fire Talk Around, we got three Mile Island Siren Control. We got the Harrodsburg. We got Sinise Township. Now turn you guys back around to me. Now just to let you guys know tomorrow's YouTube video might come a little bit later. It might come after five. I don't know yet because tomorrow's video is going to be a late one. I'm sorry. That I said that, but tomorrow's video, we are going to be doing my review on beef and boards. As part of my series called The Stone Bell Trips, which I gotta let you guys know something. The last couple of trips I've been on with Stone Bell was some of the bestest trips. All right, guys, that's it. Have a great day. YouTube. I will see you guys back here tomorrow, maybe later. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later.